Hello Capricorn and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of March 11th through the 17th. Before I start the reading, I just wanted to mention a, um, a Jesus. Um, I do private readings Monday through Fridays, evenings, weekends, I'm off. But this Monday and Tuesday, I will not be booking any private readings. So anything that comes in Friday evening, I will, they will be booked after, by Wednesday, after, <laughs> Wednesday and beyond. Wow, I'm struggling with words. So I don't know if that's the energy I'm picking up from some Capricorns. Maybe some of you are struggling with words, keeping things in. That's another way I could look at that. But anyway, um, yeah, so that was the message. And plus, I do have an update page on my website, which I update if I have to every day. It depends on what's going on. So that always will give you an idea of what's going on. So I always advise people to read the update page before they book a reading anyway. Okay, so let's get on with your reading. Very strong energy, Capricorn. So far, you look like you have one of the better readings, even though there's some mixed messages, of course. Hmm. There are certain situations that maybe you be over and done with this week, okay? You're over with them. Just be careful of a toxic person maybe coming back into your life. This could be an ex or someone um, from the past. I don't like that person for you. That's another thing I'm seeing here too. Okay. Um, I do see recovery. Okay. Some of you are taking breaks from some things. It's like things that you've been focused on, things that have been going on. I do see some kind of recovery happening too. You do need to take some breaks. Um Watch your health and well-being. I do see uh, you could be very critical or detail-oriented, too. So that's one thing I'm seeing, too. It's like you're finding out details. You appreciate honesty, um, things like that. I do see very good energy here with home and foundation. I'm trying to see. Wow, I'm having a hard time seeing the bottom here. Let me see it quickly. Oh, Okay. Yeah, so the energies look good in the home and foundation, too. This could be very maternal energy, too. Maybe dealing with a mother figure, you as a mother, or very nurturing energy. I like that. That can indicate sometimes talks of pregnancy, uh, talks of children, um, things like that. Very fertile energy, too, but does I don't see anyone maybe hearing about it, but it's possible. I do see, wow, um... Yeah, this could be maybe you decide you want to have kids, okay? And you want to start planning a family. That's another way I'm looking at this. I do see um, this could be new love coming through too, a new emotional beginning. Very nice. Home and foundation is coming in very strongly, is in focus, but very good energy. So that's what showed up um, for many of you. Um, I do see a simple fact, small, beautiful, anything true. You like, you appreciate that. Those things mean the world to you now. Um, it could also like bring you some clarity, like it solves a puzzle you've been working on for maybe weeks in your mind or something too. So something like that. Um, I see you getting in a better mood because of some kind of clarity, uh, but you still need to research some things. That's one thing I do see here too as well. Um, so the best thing is study things, make uh, place some calls, um, or try to advance to the next step in a project or endeavor. Okay, so I'm seeing that too. Um, this could be also the birth of a new idea or a new project. Maybe you are starting a new idea, venture, or project. Okay, um, it's great to start something new. Actually, what I'm seeing here too. You have a lot of energy to spare or put into it. So that's one thing I'm seeing as well. Okay. On the plate, I do see some of you um, may be dealing with esoteric stuff. Some of you may have more interest in maybe some of you are going to get a reading or I see something like that too. So there is a sense of uh, mystery and intrigue as well. Okay. So I'm seeing that too. Um, yeah. Be careful of someone coming back that could be toxic. Okay. Um, this could be someone that abandoned you somehow. You felt abandoned or something. For some of you, this can go as far as childhood. Just say, 
It could be a parent. Maybe your father left you when you were very young or your mother or whatever, and then they coming back or thoughts about it. Something where there was an abandonment issue is what I'm seeing here. This is not for everyone. Some of you may be actually going to a place that's like a desert, like in the United States. Maybe you're going to Las Vegas. That's known as desert, Arizona, or... Um, somewhere in Europe, I don't know, where there's desert. I see a lot of sand and desert too, okay? So that's meaning something for someone. Um, money is coming through too, okay? There is something about money. This could be luck with money. This could be uh, you're just going through the sand or you're at the beach and then maybe you find money or some kind of treasure. That's another indication of what I'm seeing here too, okay? So money, cash co is coming into focus somehow. For most, it's good. For some, I don't know. I do see a lot of creativity, okay? You're um, charm uh, very charming. You could draw in a lot, okay? So I'm seeing that too. Something significant can be rushing, um, rushing in. It's almost like an intrusion. So this could be someone from the past coming back or a past situation that I was telling you uh, um, as well. But I do see success and travel on its way here too. And a lot of learned lessons, okay? And you're carrying some kind of burden that you're about to... You may carry it a little bit longer, but it's about to release. It's like getting through all the obstacles. You're going to get a lot done too, okay? Wow, interesting. Anyway, Capricorn, that was your reading for the week ahead of uh, March 11th through the 17th. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best, and bye for now. Whoops, there was an interruption to your reading because I noticed something again, and I would have to... It's not fair not to say everything I do see, even though it's a general reading. Um, I also see that you could be, there's some emotional detachment. Um, that's going to, you're going to emotionally detach from something or there is an emotional detachment that's going to put you in more of a clear mind space too. Whoops. Yeah, I do see you're going to be more emotionally um, detached, okay, from emotional matters. And it's going to help you make a major, um, make a big decision, okay? So you'll definitely be in the m m great frame of mind to make a major um, decision. You're going to be also trying to race ahead, so kind of slow down. Um, towards accomplishing some kind of major goal as well. Capricorn, I felt some major interruptions as I was doing your reading too, okay? It's like I can't want to go back and then um, it was just major interruptions. That could also mean in like somebody uh, rushing in intrusive as well. So I that could be happening again. So someone could be coming back from the past or something that I feel is kind of intrusive, Okay. So that's one thing that I see, or disruption, or that too. Okay. Now, have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best, and bye for now.